each of our effects and envelopes can be automated, and that is what we're going to do right now. What we see here is one of our previously recorded songs. First, let's take a look at automating our envelopes. Your envelopes are located at the top. By clicking the drop down menu, you can change your envelope type. Right now it's set to the default, volume. You can also adjust your clip pan, low pass cutoff, low pass resonance, high pass cutoff, and high pass resonance. Right now let's just deal with the volume. Let's use our rhythm guitar as our test track. So the first thing I'll do is solo the track. And next I'm quickly going to create a loop region. I highlight the region that I want, go down to the loop mode button, and create a loop. Now if we hover over the track, you can see that this white line interconnected by two blue dots appears. This is our volume that we can automate. To change these parameters, it's as simple as hovering over the line until you see this plus sign. Click the plus sign and you can adjust the volume. Now I'm going to reduce the volume here, increase it right here, reduce and increase. Now let's play that segment and see how it sounds. So it's really that simple. If we want to go up and change a different parameter, go to the drop down menu and let's select high pass cutoff. Now you'll see that what we did on the volume disappeared, but it's still there. If we go back up to volume, there you will see our edit points. So just quickly, low pass cutoff, we can create edit points again by clicking on that white line and then edit them by simply dragging them on our track. Now let's take a look at automating effects. First, you have to have an effect assigned to the track. If you're unsure how to do this, Take a look at the earlier effects tutorial. As a quick refresher, go up to the effects button, select the effect that you want. Let's select flanger. Right now it's set to electric guitar one. You can click on the preset and select other ones if you want. Let's do eight. Close this window. Now to automate a track, click this button that's located between your solo and effects button. This is your toggle automation button. You'll notice that it defaults to track volume. We want to use our classic flanger. And by selecting this, we can see all the parameters that we can adjust on our flanger. So let's go with delay. You'll notice you have an edit bar here. You can click anywhere on that line to edit and make the proper adjustments. I'm going to make this a little bit extreme just for the sake of demonstration. Rewind. Make sure you're in solo. Again, a little bit extreme. But say we want to go in and adjust something else on that flanger. You simply go into your drop down menu and let's select level. Again, clicking on this edit line, I can make all my adjustments. If you're noticing that your edit points are snapping, make sure to check your snap. Right now it's set to eighth notes. But notice if I set it to half notes or even, let's go really extreme, measures. So if I click in here, notice that the edit point snapped to the next measure. We'll do one more. And it's something that you may or may not want. 
Right now, I'm going to go back to, let's go to 30 second notes. So let's make some extreme adjustments to this. Rewind and play. Now you can add additional effects to this by going and selecting a new effect. We're going to go to Reverb, Grand Hall. Now if I click the Edit button here, I can make my adjustments here. Or again, using automation, we can go down, select Classic Reverb. I want to adjust the size, my edit points, And we're doing this very extreme just to highlight what you can do with it. Rewind and play. Now let's pretend that we actually think that is awful and we want to get rid of it. If you right click in your automation track, you can click clear which clears that automation. Notice that if we go down to one of the other ones that have already been automated, those are highlighted in blue, you'll see that they are still there. This is great if we would just want to eliminate one of our parameters. Now if you're unhappy with all of it, right click, clear all automation. Now if we go to our drop down menu, we'll notice that nothing is highlighted in blue because we've eliminated all those. But we haven't eliminated the effects that we've put onto that track. So we can still go in and start from fresh. And then go in and edit. This is a very powerful feature in MixCraft 5.